Guys, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it? You already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye, up. Bye, up. Bye. And in Menudo Style Direct Fashion, we're going to get straight into the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding. Put your notification bell on all. So that way you're directing the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel. And it's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very humbled and I'm very much so appreciative. So I wanted to cut straight to the chase. I dropped a video a little while ago, probably about an hour ago, about the Wicked situation and, and Big Boy and the Prima. And I wanted to readjust the focus, man. Um, I took that video down. And the reason I took that video down is after, you know, thinking about it, I don't think the focus should be on what Big Boy did or didn't do. Or even the familia in general, man. I think out of respect, the best thing to do is let it lie. You know, it is what it is, man. Um, and that's the only way I can keep it real. You know, uh, I had to readjust my thinking on that situation and just take it down. And I'm um, sorry for the people that were watching or the people that wanted to watch it. Um, there's other channels that will do that. And I'll let them do their thing. I think the best thing for me to do right at this point is just... Let let it go, man. And again, condolences to the familia. But we're going to keep pushing, right? But I got some breaking news. I got some other news, man. So, you know, the videos don't stop right here. Big Flacco from a convict's perspective. Now, we all know, man, I dropped the video the other day. A lot of people have dropped videos on his incarceration. Him being locked up and how I expressed that he was looking pretty bad there, man. He was looking in bad shape. And um, having known this man personally... You know, I feel for him. I feel for his situation. You know, you can never, uh, uh, ever, you know, judge a man based on appearance. But at the end of the day, man, he was looking a lot different from when I met him or from how, how he even looks on the thumbnail. I um, mean, it's a sticky situation. Whatever spin people want to put on it, whether he was on drugs or alcohol or just going through a grieving process or maybe even anxiety or whatever, whatever issues, issues he had, man, those are his issues. And out of respect for the volatile man, um, you know, I'm not going to say he was sconted out or nothing like that because that'd be fucking throwing dirt on his name, man. I'm not trying to do that. If anything, man, I hope he gets help. I hope he helps himself. And I hope whatever process he's going through, incarcerated man, um, he comes out at the end of that rainbow shining, right? Because um, he's not a bad dude. If you meet him personally, he's made some, some unfortunate choices in his life, I'm sure. We all have. We've all been put through the ringer. We've all went through shit in our life. Um, but that doesn't uh, discredit things that he said, the historia and the norte. I know he's a norteño historian. Um, he has some good game, good clutch, and I respect that about him. Um, but he's locked up. He's locked up in the county jail out there in Arizona, right? And he got caught up. Whatever his charges are, there's been other channels that have put out his charges. Again, I won't do that because that man's an ongoing case that that man's fighting. And we all know about the, the shooting that he was a fugitive on the run for. Um, and Flacco got out, you know, he got bailed out on that and he was able to get, he was able to get some get backs on the streets and continue his channel. And he was asked a lot of questions about his ongoing case. And a lot of people were going in on him because they felt that he was offered a deal and he should have jumped on the deal. Now me, myself, I'll be real with you. Sometimes you want to take it to the box. The gangster in you, the mentality is go all the way to the caja, take it to the box, man. You know, you'd rather be uh, 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 judged by 12 than carried by six, right? But at the end of the day, if you have some type of, um, if you know you're guilty, or if you know that you're involved to the point, or you have a record, or people are going to look at you some type of way, there's two things in this world you don't do. One is expose your hand by putting it out on social media and letting everyone know your business. And two is by fighting this case that you know you have no, really no action at. I mean... A lot of the things that Flacco has spoken on in the past on his channel, a lot of the things he has exposed or said, you know, will be used against him in prison. That's the way they get down. That's the way they do it or in court. Excuse me. You know, any type of video you have out there, any type of dirt on your name, they're going to utilize that the prosecution uh, to get a conviction, whether it's a conviction at the highest level. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, it comes to where if you're truly innocent, yes, you fight tooth and nail for your freedom. You claw your way back to the top. But man, the odds are always stacked against you, especially in a state like Arizona where the conviction rate is, is crazy, right? Um, 
And we all know about Flacco's get down in his standings, right? See, I see Flacco drop the video a while back and I was watching it, man. And he was talking about, people asked him, hey, where are you going to go if you're locked up? Are you going to PC up? Are you going to go general population? And, and Flacco's response was, I think, done out of uh, pride and was done out of a hatred for being considered um, a protective custody bottle, right? Um, and I could understand that. I could understand, man, no one likes to be ridiculed or talked down upon or made fun of or disrespected. But at the end of the day, you just are what you are, man. You have to grasp that, embrace it, engage with it and realize, man, um, it's all about living. It's all about living for your family, for yourself. And you've already took the initiative to do what you had to do to put you in that situation. Uh, you got to run that course. You got to let nature run its course. But ultimately, it's your decision, right? So Flock was asked whether he was going to go GP or PC. Now, in most situations, like in California, once that's on your jacket, once you've been considered what they call a rat or, or, or whatever, um, more than likely they're going to place you in protective custody or on an SNYR just because that's on your jacket or whatever sensitive needs you may have, whatever reasoning you can't go back to the, to the main line for, right? Um, but things are changing. Things are changing overnight. You know, uh, laws are changing. The integration process has happened now where they're putting SNY inmates with general population. So you can go anywhere in the state of California. But I don't know how it's ran in the state of Arizona. I've never been locked up out there. But I'm sure you get an option, you know, like most people do. You get an option to check in, roll it up and check in, or go try your hand at the main line. You know, when Flacco was asked the question where he was going to go, he quickly replied general population, right? And, you know, there was a lot of people that questioned that, that thinking like, hey, bro, your hand is exposed. You're on the internet. You're a YouTuber. And to be totally quite honest with you, man, YouTubers don't get a good shake or a good look while incarcerated, right? It's just what it's going to be, man. Um, a lot of people locked up feel that, you know, too much has been exposed. There's too much out there. And, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like Flocka for whatever reason, you know, and it's cold. It's cold being a content creator because you have a lot of people that are your enemies and you don't even know. They don't like you for whatever reason. Um, maybe you said something bad, mention the, the, what their affiliation is, their family, whatever the case may be, or they just don't like you for the way you look in the morning. Um, you always have to be leery and aware of that. But he said he was going to go to general population. I commend him and respect him for that call. But at the same time, I can see the stupidity in it. And I'm not calling him a stupid person, but the stupidity is, the reality is, man, uh, Flock was not going to uh, be well received on any mainline just like I wouldn't be, just like a lot of other content creators wouldn't be. And let's take the content creation out of it. Just based upon his past allegations and some of the things like that, there's a lot of people um, that feel some type of way. And without justification, they won't even do their homework or give them due process. He'll just be targeted, man. Um, but Flacco is a big man. You know, Flacco's, um, I don't know about now, you know, his weight loss is pretty drastic. You know, the way he was looking right before he got incarcerated. But his, uh, his demeanor, his size, uh, it's definitely intimidating to a person that's never been in that lifestyle or, or been around Balthus that big. I was shocked when I seen how big Flocka was um, in real life, man. He's a big dude, right? But again, man, size doesn't matter, but it's definitely something you have to factor into, man. Are you going to get off on that big old six foot six motherfucker, right? Um, he's definitely an intimidating person in real life. But he said, yeah, he'll go to general population. Well, here it is. Um, just recently, man, I got some information and I don't know if it's facts or it's not, but I've heard that Flacco has been involved in what you would consider an incident or a melee, an altercation in the county jail. Now, from what I heard from a close source, right, was that he was being escorted to a different section and for whatever reason, he was targeted, man, and he's involving himself with some of the gang members there and some people there. Um, and, you know, they got off. They got off, man. Um, was there a lot of injuries from what I'm hearing? No, it was just a quick scuffle. Kind of like the Danny Masterson thing when they pulled his hair and got off on him. Um, Flock's a big dude. Like I said, I'm sure he can hold his own wherever he's at. And I would hope, you know, that he's uh, he's been in county now for about a week, week and a half. He's able to, you know, get his mind right, sleep things off, man, and, and get his fucking uh, his thinking back straight so he could focus on this case and focus on these new charges he has, you know, whatever they may be. Uh, whether they're drug related, gang related, whatever. Um, again, it's not my business to speak on, but he, um, you know, I heard he was involved in something and it doesn't surprise me. You know, Flacco comes from that stock, that Norteño stock, that old school Norteño mentality. 
And regardless of what people may think about him and his, his status within the gang life now, he's always going to have that instilled in him. See, that's what I tell people. You don't just forget. You don't uh, disremember, you know, saying uh, what you're capable of or the hands you have or what you've done. You know, there's a lot of people that think because um, you're no longer in good standings or you're considered a, a piece of shit or whatever spin they want to put on it, non-active, that you forget how to fight or you forget how to make a pedazo or you forget how to get busy. If in fact, what it really does is it makes people more aware because you already know there's people that are targeting you and that want you. Um, so your distrust, your distrust of everyone is displayed on your sleeve, right? Everyone knows that you stay on swivel. You keep your, keep your shit on swivelization. Um, and I've said it even with myself. You know, if I was to be incarcerated, I'm not going to give anyone a chance to get at me, befriend me, try to rock me to sleep. If I feel any type of aggression or any type, if I see someone look that way when they're supposed to be looking that way, I'm going to get off. And I'm going to get off for my own safety and security. I'm going to get off because I know people feel some type of way. Um, so I feel some type of way. You know, I've always been that type. And and Flacco, we've had a lot of conversations behind the scenes back in the days when we did conversate. And he was of the same, same mindset. You know, I know there's a lot of content creators that like to muddy the waters and... and disillusion people and play the role and act like they're still active or they're still in the mix or they still got affiliation with people that are. And, and, and a lot of that's bullshit. A lot of that's fucking blowing smoke in your eyes. They're trying to fucking blind you to the fact that it, that is, um, they're not okay. They're not good no more. And until people grasp, grasp that reality and understand that, um, it doesn't mean they're a piece of shit in life or that they're no longer a good person or that they have the, the wrong ways of thinking. It just means they can't accept the fact that they fucked up and they're now in a position where um, you're not cool anymore. You're not a cool guy. See, I accept realities of my decisions I've made in life. Every decision I made, all the way from being a youngster and getting caught up on a murder case, all the way to being older, man, and realizing um, the remorse that I have for that. You know, not because I lost my childhood, but because someone else lost their life and because a family was affected and my family was affected. And I think about everyone else but myself. I don't put myself first anymore. I used to. But in Flacco's situation, he needs to put himself first in order to survive for his family. You know, if he truly was involved in the altercation, that's just the first of many. You know, um, I seen Flacco talked about on his channel that you know, the California politics, when he was asked about general population, why he was willing to go there. Um, and he said, I'm a man, you know, I'm going to hold my own. I'm, I'm down for my shit. Respectable. I respect it. Right. Then at the same time, he was also asked, um, do you know what you're getting yourself into? You know, do you know? And he responded, you know, they don't play California politics in Arizona. It's different. Um, some of the things from his past wouldn't even be brought up. But what he didn't bring into play or what he didn't express was the fact that he's a public figure. As a content creator, everybody sees your face. Everybody knows your face has been exposed to millions of people nationwide. So everyone knows your past, especially if you've spoken on it so many times, which he has on his channel. And again, man, like I said, I didn't even know who Flacco's, uh, uh, anything about his past or the accusations, I would say, because, man, I don't know, truly. I don't know. You know, just, I see what's put out there. Nowadays, I'm distrusting of social media and the Internet. I don't believe any of the shit I see. Half the shit I see, it it's comes into question, right? But without justifying it, I think it's pretty much well said that, you know, Flocker has some, something in the past that holds him back, right? And he's self-admitted, you know, been very transparent with what he's done in the past. And uh, people judge him or they don't. You know, they accept it. It doesn't affect them or their livelihood, so they push, right? Um, but everyone watches. People that are locked up watch content creation every day. They watch YouTube. They watch social media. They know who's who, who's saying what, what's real, what's not. And you can basically not uh, judge a man by what he says, but by his action and the content of his character, right? And so he's been watched, and there's a lot of people that do respect him, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that just can't get over the hump or the fact that this man has alleged to have told in the past on people. And it doesn't matter what state they're in. See, nobody likes a snitch. Nobody likes a weirdo, sexual offender, pedophile. No state that I've ever been to, incarcerated in, or any state I've ever heard of, is going to condone these actions. Jailhouse thievery, uh, snitching on any level, uh, being a weirdo. It just doesn't, it's not accepted. 
okay? It's not prison conduct, jail conduct, or even human conduct, right? Just, just isn't accepted. And you need to accept the fact that if you're in that situation, you're a target. Um, so I believe, you know, when Flacco said that he would go to general population and that the California politics didn't matter, maybe so. Maybe the California politics don't matter to Arizona. But at the same time, telling is universal. It matters, right? And if and there's a lot of people that are incarcerated. See, everyone has different mindsets. There's some that are just hitters. They're shooters, man. They just want to get off and, and earn stripes and, and gain notoriety and status within the system. And then there are those that just want to do their time and get on, bro. They don't give a fuck, right? Um, there's more of the guys that want to earn their way than there are the ones that just want to do the time. I'll say that for facts, right? In every state. So... All it takes is someone to recognize him, and he's pretty recognizable being six foot six and and however much he weighs at this point. You know, people are going to recognize him from his content, and if they know his history and his story, man, it's definitely going to um, bring some attention to him, some unwanted attention. You know, I'm not saying Flock was a punk on any level, man. I believe he'll fight. I believe he'll handle his business. I believe he'll try his best. But again, man, one man can't fight off a wolf pack. You know, um, it's just the reality of life. So, you know, this altercation that just happened, I don't know what it was behind. It could have been something internal, something that just happened in there, disrespect. Could have been gang related or even, in fact, he could have been targeted because they know who he is. Um, but from what I heard, man, it wasn't that bad. It was just a, 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 a little altercation. But it's going to be one of many. You know, reverting back to what Flacco was saying about uh, uh, being on general population. If you choose to do that, um, it's only a matter of time before he's asked the question again whether he wants to case up protective custody, uh, 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 be, you know, kept away from people because a man can only go out to that yard so many times, but I have, don't get it twisted. I have seen guys that go to the yard, get booked, get whacked, go sew themselves up, go back to the yard, get booked again. Do you understand that it's never going to stop? They're never going to say, you know what? Damn, you're down, bro. You came out to the yard four or five times after getting booked. We accept it. You're cool now. It doesn't happen. They're just going to keep booking you and booking you and booking you till you don't come back. There's always going to be more guys lined up to handle their business than there are you. There's one of you and soldado after soldado, right? Now, there might not be Norteños and Southsiders as thick in, this, in the state of Arizona incarcerated. They might have their own thing going on, right? But at the end of the day, their thing doesn't accept people who have been associated with or alleged to have been told on people. It just doesn't work that way, right? So my, hey, my, my prayers are for Flacco. I prayed for him last night. I said, man, I hope that he's able to make it back to his kid. You know, I've met his kid in real life. Um, good kid. You know, Flacco has a, a, a great son. And I know he loves his son. I've seen him interact. I've seen the human side of him. Okay, everyone sees the content creator, the sometime vaulted that talks a little shit or he's disorientated and maybe he is high, right? And says some things. He said a lot about me in the past. A lot of disrespectful things. I forgive Flocka five minutes after he does it. I said, forgive this guy, Lord. He's not in his right state of mind. Whether he's high or not, he's just not in his right state of mind. Um, I remember the interaction, the respect we were giving each other when it was all good, man. And I can't, can't knock that, right? Um, but there was a lot said. And that's why I distanced myself. That's why I chose not to fuck with him um, on that level because I couldn't trust him. And, uh, and things like that. It was personal, right? But as far as do I pray and hope that he's, he makes it, I do, man. You know, this man's facing a long time. According to his words, 60 years. That's a fucking long, that ain't chump change. Okay. Um, again, you got to think about his victims. You have to think about what he did if he did it, right? Again, I'm not saying he's guilty or innocent. I'm just saying um, more lives are affected than just himself, right? Um, there's a lot of people, hey, good luck, Flacco. I hope you, you make it back. That's a good way of thinking, man. Then there's a lot of people, you deserve whatever. You're not, you're not good. You're a piece of shit. You deserve life, right? Come on now. You know, don't wish that upon a, a person because you wouldn't want to be put in that position yourself. Um, is he going to make it in Arizona or is this just one of many altercations? It's just one of many. Okay. Um, when you're locked up, righteous, solid. I've seen people engage and involve themselves in a lot of shit. When you are a content creator and everyone knows what you look like, what you've said in the past, you know, because there's a lot of people that feel disrespected by some of these spills. They feel disrespected if you mention their hood, their barrio, um, you're not from there, or you say too much. It's just, it's just how it is, right? And, you know, Flacco's a controversial figure. He's always been the type to speak his mind, say what he says, and I'd say a little uh, uh, northerner uh, biased, right? 
Let's just be real. You know, uh, me, myself, I get a lot of hatred because I'm not biased when it comes to the North and South situation. I realize what I was, what I'll always be. Um, but at the end of the day, I accept everybody for being brown, black, white. It's cool. There's not, I'm not superficial, racial, um, judgmental, none of that. It is what it is. Either I like you or I don't. It's cut and dry. No added preservatives. Knowledge you can't get in college. Fuck you or no, fuck you. Right? That's it. Um, when it comes to Flacco, man, he's been a little judgmental to the Southsiders. Been a little top heavy when it comes to the Northerners. And it doesn't mean they respect it. They're still going to look at him as no good. Um, you don't earn favor because you speak highly of your past affiliations. Um, but that's his realism. That's his truth. You know, so I can't hate on it. Um, I just used to say, you know, um, some of the times I thought he was talking about Southerners just because they were from down South, you know, and I see a lot of authors from down South, uh, like Bozo and others hate on Northerners just because they're from up North, you know, uh, respect the motherfuckers get down, bro, as a man, first and foremost, then we can get to all that other gang shit. That's just my thinking, right? Um, but yeah, you know, according to what I heard, man, from a homie, Flacco was involved in an altercation. Again, this is alleged. I don't know if it's the truth or not. Um, I would hope not for his own safety and security, man, that he just able to do his time and get, get out and get some get backs and tell us what really happened, you know, and for all the people that are questioning, you know, Hey, you know, um, Flacco's on a good one. So what if he is, he is man, who doesn't get high lefty gunplay says he gets high and people still support him. Um, what a man chooses to do in his life is his business, man. You know, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look and figure out a motherfucker doesn't lose 150 pounds overnight. Okay. Uh, without being disrespectful and because, you know, Flacco's the type that will take things as disrespect. It's weird. You know, this world is upside down. The people that disrespect them, he's cool with. The people that don't, um, he dislikes. I don't understand, right? But my situation is this. Um, I respect him as a man. Um, some of the things I don't agree with, I'm going to continue to rock like that. Um, but I hope he wasn't fucked up in that little melee. I mean, he's a big dude, man. He can hold his own. But it, like I said, it doesn't matter. You know, I seen, I could tell you guys a story. I seen the biggest guy in the yard. I mean, he was a target right when he got there. Didn't have a fucked up case. Wasn't in on nothing like that. He was a Native American dude. He was fucking big. I've never seen a Native this big, right? And I remember he got there. And a lot of the natives, you know, they, they embrace their people. They, they do their own thing. I can't tell you too much about the native car other than, man, I was invited to, um, a sweat a couple times with them and they're just good people, good gente. They're not the ones to be played with, especially if they're drinking, right? Natives, them res dogs, boy, they'll tear your ass up. But because this guy was so big, automatically two things happen on a yard, man. He starts getting all the juice. All the cops are admiring him. Everyone's like, wow, they're, they're tripping because he's so big, but he also becomes a target. Every other organization and group is looking at him like, hey, if something goes down with these natives, he's going to be the one because he poses the biggest threat. Because automatically people, uh, 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 they assume because he's big, he's got hands or it's because he's big, he's going to choke a motherfucker out. That's not always the case. Uh, you know, and that wasn't the case with this guy. This guy was actually a big old teddy bear. He was cool. Big old Sasquatch. Cool motherfucker, right? But because there was another native that was basically running the car, felt, I guess, intimidated by him. He smutted him up, man, and got him whacked on the yard. And and it was unfortunate. This dude was running, man. He was running for his life. And these dudes were booking the shit out of him. And I remember talking to a homeboy in the hole and like, damn, what happened with that native dude, bro? They went off quick. He didn't last but a week. And they said, yeah, the, you know, the dude smutted him up because uh, he didn't want him coming in over, taking over what he had going on. It's tricky in prison. It's very tricky. It's political. Sometimes it's, it's, um, it's dirty, dirty politics, you know. People that have juice and that are in a position to smut you up, it's just their word. People will take their word for it. And then you'll have a youngster doing a pegada, smacking someone for not even, or there's not even a reason behind it. You know, um, again, back to Flacco, man. I just hope that he's able to wiggle and he gets some get backs on his case. And again, man, um, I hope that his victims, you know, um, are okay. And uh, we'll see what happens. But again, man, like I said, man, that's what they told me that Flacco was involved in an altercation. I guess I'll find out more. If I find out any more details, I'll give them to you guys. I'm kind of keeping up with this Flacco situation just because I know him personally, you know, and I don't wish bad upon him, um, but he's in a tricky situation, man. We're talking about a guy locked up out of state, no family, close, uh, so visits aren't like that, you know. Um, someone asked me, hey, did you put money on his books? You know, when I was locked up, Flacco didn't put money on my books, all <laughs> right? Um, again, I might, I might do that, man. Um, I feel bad. With that being said, thumbs up or thumbs down. 
If he's going to be the head that wears the crown, I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, strive for what I truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people, man. Again, man, shout out to Wicked's Familia. My condolences. And to Flacco. Bang, bang.